everyone and welcome back my name is maggie also known as mocha latte and over here i make knitting and crochet videos on my channel and this is episode three of my knit crochet podcast and today i have all of the things to talk about i have so many projects that i started i've gone unhinged if you are new here uh, again, my name is Maggie. I live here in Pennsylvania with my husband and our two cats, Vash and Nora, who you will probably see uh, sneak in to frame here probably quite a few times. <laughs> so grab yourself a cozy drink or a project or anything you would like to hang out with me and listen to me ramble. Today I am drinking um, Harney and Sons Cherry Blossom Tea and my super cute, ooh, it's hot, super cute Easter mug that I stole from my mom a couple of years ago. So yeah. Also, I actually brought the tea with me today to show you because I thought that would be fun because I am a tea connoisseur. I love tea and any tea. And my sister bought me this um, Harney and Sons Cherry Blossom Tea. I love tea cherry blossom tea. I tried to find so many different brands. Um, a very random story, my older sister used to live in Washington DC and uh, one year my husband and I went down for cherry blossom season and we went to a gift shop because your girl loves gift shops. And anyways, I found a cherry blossom tea and I have yet to find that cherry blossom tea or a tea that tastes similar to it. Um, this one is very good. It's not quite the same, but it is still very good. Okay, so I have so many things to show you today and I am just so excited. Spring is finally here. Um, I am so glad because winter felt like eternity long. Today is beautiful out. I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm gonna say almost 60 degrees. I have my windows open, my door open. Oh, it just feels so good. So of course I have some spring projects that I have been itching to start and share with you. I have um, two pairs of socks that I finished and a new sock cast on. I have a couple blankets and just some other random projects that I can't wait to show you. So first I will show you my finished socks. I'm just gonna put them on the sock blockers. All right, so here is my first pair. Look how fun. Oh my gosh. Why are socks just the best? Never in my life did I ever think I would have an obsession with knit socks, but here I am. Anyways, so the yarn that I used for this is, I think you, I think it's pronounced Patton's Croy, I think. If I'm saying it wrong, feel free to call me out. But uh, Patton's Croy in, oh my gosh, I already forget the colorway. Meadows. <laughs> it was Meadows. Um, and it's just a self-striping yarn. And then I used a scrap pink for the toe and heel. And they are just, oh my gosh, they're so much fun. And I honestly don't think I've ever made a sock this long. Usually I make shorty socks or I get to maybe about there and I'm like over and I stop. But these ones are long, but they are just so fun, so bright. And they turned out great. And I love them. All right, so that is one pair. The next pair. These are also super fun. Look how pretty. They're, they look so springy. Um, these are my Animal Crossing socks. Um, if you heard me talk about my last video or if you follow me on Instagram, I love Animal Crossing. It is the cutest game to ever exist and I can never get enough of it. And one of my favorite yarn dyers um i hope i am saying her name right i'm gonna i think it's nico norb uh craft co if you're watching this and i pronounce it wrong i'm so sorry but anyways um i will link her below and please go check out her shop because she makes 
so many cool yarns, especially like video game inspired and anime inspired. And just rec recently she did um, like a D&D &D inspired and it looks so cool. So please go check her out. So yeah, these are my Animal Crossing socks. So cute and just, they ended up being a very perfect like springy color, um, but I just love it. So cute. That is the only two pairs of socks that I have finished. I did cast on a spring pair. Look how pretty. Look at this green. It has like specks of pink and uh, some yellow in there. So I did um, a pink cuff and I'm gonna do a pink heel and toe. I just love, it makes like the pink um, pop on here and my cute little bunny stitch marker for Easter. Oop, there it is. So cute. Oh, I love this color. Um, so this yarn, it is called Emma's Yarn. Um, I got it at a, um, a small business, small business yarn store. I only have Joanne's and Michael's close to me. Um, this yarn store is about 45, 50 minutes away. Um, so I don't get to go there too often. Um, but the colorway is called Make That Monet, like the French painter. That's so clever. <laughs> but, um, beautiful, beautiful yarn. It is uh, super wash merino and 20% silk. So I'm probably going to be like sliding all over the place with these socks, but worth it. I love these. It's just, I have no green socks. I lied. I have green socks. I have, do not have this color green. So pretty. So yeah, so that is all the sock talk for today. I'm proud of myself. Two pairs finished. I like hustled through those really quickly. So after I finish um, my spring socks, I'm going to take a break from socks, maybe, until the end of May for when summer sock camp starts to give my hands a little break because I have been stocking up on all of the sock yarn for summer sock camp and uh, Kay from Crazy Sock Lady just, you know, announced that she, she you know, she'll be doing another year. Um, so I am so ready. So I figured I'd give my fingers a break because when summer sock camp comes, that is all I'm going to want to do. Um, I am going to make a, a sock video here sometime shortly so I could talk more about summer sock camp if that's something that is catching your eye. Um, super fun. So that's it for socks. Oh my gosh, I have so many things here. I'm going to take a, a tea break. Oh, don't you just love spring? Oh, I love it so much. Okay, um, next I guess we could just go into um, some, I don't have any finished objects. Actually, you know what? I do have, I do have one finished object. Um, in my last video, I shared I was going to make um, some fingerless gloves. One was for a pattern that I was going to release and make a video tutorial for. Well, I finished, I did finish one, um, but now that it is officially spring, I think these are going into hibernation until probably December. And then I think December would be a perfect time to release a pattern like right before Christmas. That could be like a good gift to make for, um, for the ones you love but anyways i'll share this because it it did turn out really cute so this is my uh fingerless glove pattern it was it literally takes like maybe an hour to make a pair it's so easy so i used <clears throat> this is a big twist yarn in just white and it has the sparkles on it and then i bought a skein of mohair to pair with it so they came out very it's kind of hard to tell on camera but they came out very fuzzy and then i guess you could see it there a little bit so cute and so simple 
So I will save the second one for when I make the video tutorial. But yeah, super cute. So that was the first uh, fingerless gloves that I made. I also did in my last video talk about how I was making a pair for a friend and I did finish them and give them to her. So I will put them on the screen what they look like. They turned out so cute. The mushroom, I did not find a pattern. I just freehanded and it just worked out so cute. Um, and she loved them, which always makes, just makes me so happy to give um, someone a gifted uh, item and they love it. It's just the best feeling ever. So yeah, so those are my fingerless gloves. Next item that I had worked on is this really pretty, um, like table, table mat, I guess you could say, for my coffee table in my living room. It's not finished yet. I ran out of yarn, um, so I need to get more, but it's really pretty. It has pink and blue and green, uh, which goes perfectly with my living room because I love floral things, so I have like a lot of pinks and greens and blues and um, so this goes perfectly on my coffee table. I found this pattern on Pinterest. It was a free pattern. Um, I can share that below. The yarn that I used, um, let me grab it here. Uh, it is I Love This Cotton um, from Hobby Lobby and the color... Uh, it's just pink, green, and purple. There's no like color name, but it is just a cotton yarn. Um, and it was a very easy crochet pattern and I love it. So once it is complete, I will have to share a picture of how it looks. So yeah, that was a fun uh, little house project, which I don't do too many of those. So that was a lot of fun. Um, next we will go non garment related i had crocheted a crochet grant or a oh my gosh i crocheted a granny square tote um in fall of last year and it turned out perfect and i loved it and i found uh, the perfect autumn yarn for it and i was able to line it with some fabric and it was just very cute and now i want to make a springy slash summer one so i got some yarn to start it i bought a mandela cake um it's a i think it's baby baby mandela in the color diagon alley which is really weird i don't know how that relates but anyways um so i bought this for like the squares and then i bought this uh sugars or yeah sugar and cream cotton yarn for like the the borders and the um the handles and stuff so i thought it would be so cute together but i started crocheting these up and it is not what i was looking for um because i wanted each granny square to be like all different colors and when i crocheted one it was just yellow and then the next one will probably be another yellow one and then the green and then the blue which i don't want which would still look pretty but i want yarn that's all different colors so i'm gonna have to go yarn chopping and find uh a different color for the granny squares but i'm really excited about that and i already picked out my fabric for the inside how cute this pink polka dot and then this green excuse me this green just design I just thought that would look really pretty inside this and if i get i don't know just a colorful yarn for the granny squares oh it's gonna look so cute so i'm really excited about that all right next i have uh, two garments that i have started also how cute is this little strawberry bag that i found at five below they had a bunch of other ones too but i just love strawberries so it's so cute um so i decided that I wanted to make a like springy top. So I bought the pattern, uh, the Florence Cardigan pattern by Nastia Crochets. Um, it's such a beautiful sweat, uh, cardigan sweater and perfect for spring. So I bought it and I bought the yarn. Um, I bought it at Joann's. It is a uh, premium yarn. KC knit and crochet. It's 
100% cotton and this beautiful uh, lavender color. So I bought it, bought the pattern, I bought the yarn, and I started crocheting it, and I took it out like four times. My brain just could not like understand this pattern. It's not the pattern, it's me. I just, I feel like there's just been a lot going on, so I haven't been in like the right mind space to follow like such a detailed pattern. So. I was like getting frustrated and I was like, I'll just take a break from this pattern and maybe I'll go back to it. But right now I really want to use this yarn. So I just decided to make my own cardigan with no pattern. Just, uh, I just started uh, the back panel and I just did alternate um, double crochet and treble crochet. So it's so soft and so light and I just think it'll be such a simple, beautiful, spring card again so yeah i'm excited for this i do need to buy some more yarn for this too because i only bought two skeins which i don't know what i was thinking even for the florence card again it probably would have taken quite a few and i only bought two anyways so yeah so that is going to be my spring card again i do want to go back to the florence uh cardigan pattern and try again maybe when i'm more like focused and not all over the place because it is a beautiful pattern and she writes patterns so well so well so that's my springtime cardigan um next is just a very random project that i have been wanting to make for quite some time i have been dying to make like a crochet lounge set i just think ugh, that would be so cozy and, <clears throat> and i had this big twist uh yarn that i used for the fingerless gloves and i just think this green is so pretty um so i was like i need what can i make with this so um i was browsing on pinterest and i saw this picture i'll share it here on the screen and it's kind of like my inspiration that I got from it. This one is a knit, I don't even know if it's like, I don't think it's hand knit. I think it's just from like, you know, a store or whatever, but I got really inspired. So I'm going to crochet um, like a tank and shorts, like a cute little lounge set. So I'm really excited for this. I have not worked on it too much. Um, this will be the top kind of hard to see but this will be like the top um I don't want it too short I want it a little longer and then just like some thick tank top tank top um straps oh my gosh tank top straps and then I will make sh a pair of shorts out of like the same thing um I have never made any type of like pants knit or crochet so we'll see how that turns out but I think that would be really cute especially like even though summer's coming, I can wear these around the house, like when the AC's on, because it's uh, acrylic yarn, so it's gonna be like warm, like I probably won't wear them out. But yeah, I'm super excited for that project. So that's all for crochet garments. I told told you guys, I'm unhinged over here with all of my projects. It's, it's wild up in here. Okay, next I have two blankets that I have been working on. I will show you my first one because this one is simple and easy. Um, I had bought this yarn to make a blanket. It's been probably a couple years now, but I thought it was really pretty and it really matches like my living room. Uh, and I just did <clears throat> a half double crochet for the whole thing, or I'm sorry, half double crochet back loop for the whole thing. Kind of hard to see and it is in um a karen uh skinny cake and the color melon smoothie i love it it's it's just i love all those colors together so pretty so i've been slowly working on that for my living room i've been kind of on like a blanket kick ever since i started that granny stripe blanket which side note, I have not made much progress on. That's why I will not be talking about it today. So that is one blanket. Next blanket 
<clears throat> this one is a lot of fun. I'm making a giant granny square blanket. So just one giant granny square continuously. So pretty. Look at all those colors. So my mom um, had accidentally ordered um, a giant case of mini skeins online by accident and she also crochets but she only usually makes like blankets and she only uses like chunky yarn because it's like all she can really see so she accidentally ordered all this yarn and she gave it to me and I was able to use a few of them for my Halloween uh, patchwork cardigan but after that they have just been sitting here so I decided I would make her a blanket using them and it's such a fun project I can understand why granny squares are like the fad right now because they are just so fun and so easy to work up and they just look so good so yeah so this is the progress I have so far I love it I feel like I'm gonna end up making another one of these because it just looks awesome so there's that so I have about four of these to use up um, just full of different colors I've just been grabbing a color crocheting it in uh, super relaxing project and she's going to love it um, I will share the brand is called ends craft it's just a 100% acrylic yarn she bought them on Amazon so I can link that below because um, you know sometimes um, not everyone can afford, you know, the hand dyed like mini skeins. Um, so if this is a route that you need to take, which is totally fine, um, I will share that below. I think it was like 20 bucks for this giant case of mini skeins. Um, and it is just, let me see here. I think it's just, it doesn't even say the size of the yarn, but I've just been using a four millimeter crochet hook. Um, so yeah, so that's going to look beautiful when it's done. I love it. I think I may have to make myself one after, maybe after this one. Maybe I'll start one for myself too. So yeah, so that, wow, that is actually all the projects. I feel like I just like sped through them, but I've been like so excited to talk about them. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how far I get with all of these, the blankets. I never rush through the blankets because those are just nice, easy projects. And now that the warmer weather's coming, I know I'm not gonna really need it. So I'll just work on those um, here and there. Um, I did have, <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going crazy. I had a couple of tops that I wanted to make. Um, I have just been browsing Pinterest too and Ravelry so that's where I get a lot of inspiration from especially Pinterest and someone uh, or I saw a granny square top a granny square stripe top and it looked so cute it was just like a cute little like button up oh I'll share it on the screen here I think I might actually even use some of my sock yarn to try and make one because even after I started my granny stripe blanket I still have so many that I used for the blanket and then there's still so much left so maybe I'll make myself a top we'll see oh look who it is oh be careful you gonna come say hello you come say hello come here this is Vash also his name is Vash it's V-A-S-H um, from the character Vash from Trigon, uh, the anime, if you've ever watched that anime, that's who he's named after. He's a good boy, huh? He's a good boy. He follows me around absolutely everywhere. He's my little shadow buddy. Huh? He's my little shadow. You say hi? <laughs> so that is all of the yarny projects that I have to talk about today. Um, I guess next we could segue into some books because I've actually done some reading. So I will start with these. Um, I have finished a manga series um, called Orange. <clears throat> I bought, there are 
two big two big ones with the whole collection um I with I, I never want to give spoilers so I will just kind of read the back and I will um I will say there's a trigger warning um for suicide in these books um so if that is something you know you feel free to um you know fast forward through I completely understand um but this book I will just read from the back <clears throat> um it's about uh this girl named Neho um who is in high school and she gets a letter from herself in the future um saying that she really needs to take someone in her life take care of someone in her life like really take care of them because in the future that person is going to try to commit suicide so she has to do like everything in her power to make sure that that doesn't happen um so it just follows um neho and like her friend group and you know they're just trying to really be there for her friend and trying to change the future and it is so so good oh my gosh just so good I loved the characters, um, the storyline really, really got to my heartstrings, and, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 I recommend, um, for sure. Again, that is called Orange <clears throat> by Ichigo Takano, if that's how you say it. Um, yeah, very, very good. I got these from Barnes & Noble. Um, I believe each one was 20 bucks, I think, because it's like a thick, the thick, uh, volumes. Yeah, so I finished those. Literally, I read the first one in like an hour because manga are super, you know, quick to read. Um, but very good. Uh, the next one is <clears throat> Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. My friend got me this book um, in December and I'm finally now uh, just picking it up. I'm only literally a few pages in and already the beginning is just so cute. I just love it. And I love Tom Fountain. And I don't know if you follow him on Instagram, but I don't really care to like follow celebrities on Instagram. I just like don't really care, but because he was in Harry Potter and he just seems like a wholesome person, I was like, this is going to be a good read. And so far I love it already. So um hoping to breeze through that. <clears throat> and then next is... um I found this at Barnes & Noble. It is uh, the Book of Tarot. I love to collect tarot cards. Um, I just recently got into tarot cards. Um, I just do it for fun, like for myself. I don't do readings for like anybody. Sometimes my sister or like my close friends. Um, but just for fun and just as a way to really, you know, sit back and like self-reflect on myself and, you know, everything that's going on around me. And just taking that time to, you know, just really absorb and like think things. Um, so I have been loving that. Um, and I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. But it just goes through like a very detailed description of what every card means and like backstory. And so I haven't really, I read like a couple pages, but I haven't really gotten to dive into it. Uh, too deep, but I'm looking forward to reading that. And if you also do tarot and collect cards, uh, I would love to hear all about it because I really enjoy it. <laughs> so uh, that is for that, for reading. Um, my one friend is going to kill me because I started on the second Barbarian book a little more that she bought me like almost the whole thing series four i talked about it in my last podcast super spicy um it is a really good series it follows uh these girls that get stuck on an ice planet and these aliens that um find them and get together and uh each book is you know each girl's point of view which i enjoy but i just i'm struggling a little bit but i just need to I just need to do it because I know I'll love it. I I, ha I really enjoyed the first book and the second one is really good too, but it's a lot of like, to me it's a lot of like repetitive, like the guy and the girl and like, you know, but it's, it's still good. So I'm definitely going to power through those eventually. Um, if you have any book recommendations, I'm always open to recommendations. Um, 
I will pretty much read anything. Um, there's not much that I won't read. Um, I really do love fantasy, um, romance novels. I can read them, especially if they're spicy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I would love to hear what books you love to read. What are your favorite books? Uh, yeah, that's all in the book world. Um, as far as video games i have been playing animal crossing and that is about it for that i have just not been in the gaming mood clearly i've just been knitting and crocheting away on all the projects um but yeah so i think i'm gonna end that video here um as always i appreciate you for being here and hanging out with me um i'm trying to like make these videos a little more i don't want to say structured because life is chaos we you know life is chaos and i just like to just kind of go with the flow and go where it takes me but um i have just been really enjoying doing this and now that the weather is so nice and it stays light out later i just really want to make more videos because i have so many fun things to share and talk about and I just hope to bring a slice of coziness to your day while you're hanging out, knitting, crocheting, whatever you're doing. I appreciate you for being here. So join me again next time. Uh, hopefully I will have more progress on all of the things that I'm working on. And until then, bye.